fun segment. Okay. We're all set to go. Hi, we're here today with Jillian Welsh as hey. our guest. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh. Hello. Good day. How's it going? Good. Good. It's like I think it's gonna rain outside, but it's yeah. yeah, that's okay. Yeah. We don't yeah, mind. The, it, it's fine. It's so hot. It I needs know. to break. For something sure. needs to. Something needs to <laughs> break. Something's <laughs> gotta. <laughs> yes, kinda, that was what yeah. I was thinking about. I was like, <laughs> something's gotta break. <laughs> That's what the yeah. saying is, right? Yeah. <laughs> something's gotta give. Uh, Jillian is a comedian in the city, and you have a sketch troupe, Cherry Beach. Yeah. And you're performing at Bad Dog on October 17th, yeah, right? Come check it out. Are you excited about that? So very excited. Yeah, it's going to be all new material, too. Oh, so, nice. uh, pens to paper, get going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you guys started? <laughs> yeah, we started writing. Cool. But yeah. So what's much your, fun. Uh, what's your like writing process with your group? Uh, yeah, we're really uh, professional about it. Uh, we go to the LCBO. Uh, okay. uh, <laughs> we get uh, a big bottle of cheap wine. Uh-huh. Uh, we just, Box wine? Yeah. Yeah, nice. we just, just sit down and, and riff. It's it's really cool, cool. that you get to make uh, comedy with your best buds. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel very awesome. lucky to to get to make comedy mm-hmm. with these three gals. Aww. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Do you guys live close by to each other? Uh, no, we're kind of all over the city. Okay. Some are in the west, some are in the east, but uh, we hail from our corners nice. and uh, <laughs> and gather. And sometimes at midnight too, because everyone has a busy schedule. Oh yeah, but, yeah. That's great. 2 a.m. writing session. Yeah, sessions. midnight. Midnight under a full moon. Bring it on. <laughs> Whoa, that's great. I love that. Yeah. Just go to the beach naked and oh. be like, now we're going to write sketches yeah. at like in the middle of the night. <laughs> Light some candles. Do yeah. <laughs> a little seance. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. That's cool. awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, this is our first time meeting, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jordan and Jill don't you know. know each other. Yeah. So, yeah, just putting that out there. No. But it's strangers. cool. Strangers, yeah. It's yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Strangers in the day mm-hmm. at a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the night. Yeah. <laughs> Strangers in the day talking about the night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, today we, we always bring a, a rule, mm-hmm. uh, a dating rule. Today we have a great one. Okay. It's really <laughs> good. It really on. makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Hold on to your seatbelts. Um, our rule today is always have a checklist of everything you want. From the other person, so you get the whole pie. And what we mean by that yeah. <laughs> is, um, you gotta have, you gotta want the ingredients. Yes, you want ah. the ingredients. So you want the pie that you want. You want the pie that you want. <laughs> you know, we awesome. don't want like, to be missing the crust. You know, yeah, fantastic. Like yeah. if you like a bit of cinnamon in yeah. your pie, mm-hmm. you want the cinnamon as well. But yeah. if you just got cinnamon, you might be like, this is a spoonful of cinnamon. Oh, uh, for sure. S- cinnamon challenge was like years ago. It's mm-hmm. outdated. I don't want yeah. mm-hmm. the cinnamon person anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you don't want to settle for like a delicious filling with a soggy crust. Exactly. That you does know? sound kind of good, but Actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But delicious filling, I mean, Ooh, but then you get to the crust. And that's you're true. Like, you know, soggy. Yeah. <laughs> soggy. Uh, so that's our, uh, that's our rule. Jordan, yeah. do you think you follow this rule? Mm. Well, I feel like you're biased. You're in a relationship right now, so you have to say yes. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I ever really had like a list of things that I wanted, though. I guess maybe a little bit. Like an internal list? Yeah. Do you know what it was? Like what? Someone were? sweet. Got it. Check. Funny. Check. Mm-hmm. Kind. Nice. nice. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. And tall that was all uh, yeah but that's like not a big deal if you're not tall it's fine but yeah yeah very cool uh my list uh i guess must um like nerdy things Mm -hmm. must have at least one passion that was always such a huge pet peeve of mine when i'd go on tinder dates i'd be like They'd be like, yeah, I'm doing this job. I don't really like it. And I'd be like, okay, that's cool. Do you, what's your like passion? And they're like, oh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. And I'm yeah. like, sick. Do you think that craft beer counts as a passion? 100%. I, I can't decide. Do oh, you, you can't think decide? So? I think like depending on like if you're like by passion, I mean like something that maybe I mean like obsession. Right. Something Anything that you that really you're, care about that like mm-hmm. motivates you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. 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 So if you're like obsessed about craft beer, mm-hmm. then 100%. But if you're, you're just like. You like craft beer, right? Right. Then okay. no, you're yeah. like everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you like brew your own beer yeah, yeah. then that's passion that's passion <laughs> for sure <laughs> yeah. what uh what about you do you have a like a che- like an um, internal checklist or an emotional checklist yeah i guess i guess like you do but i, I feel like i am in a relationship and i feel like the checklist kind of like keeps mm. uh <laughs> keeps they're like things <laughs> that like oh this must be on my checklist mm. i guess um yeah, a sense of humor for sure. Mm. Uh, passion, uh, talent is a big one for me. Not like, oh, you have to be super talented, but I guess uh, I guess talent and passion for me go kind of go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Like you have to love what you do. Yeah, yeah, that would suck if someone was doing craft beer and was so, so bad, at, bad it. at it. They just kept making wine. I know. <laughs> like, just be a craft <laughs> wine. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And then uh, truth is also so important. Yeah. Like you want to, I want to feel like I can tell the truth to mm-hmm. the person that I'm in a relationship with. Uh, and also being kind to servers. Mm. Oh my God, that's so huge. That's yeah. huge. Like if yeah. you are not nice to a server, then that's like a yeah. deal breaker. Then you're not nice. Then you're not nice. Yeah. 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 I have yeah. a I have a friend who uh, I've been calling him out on it, but he's not nice to uh, anybody in any sort. Like he works retail, so I don't understand why he what? would do this. But he's not nice to like people at the corner store who oh. work behind the desk or like yeah, our it's... Uber driver. I'm like, oh, it like why? it makes me so upset, and I feel Ooh. so Ooh. bad for the person like in. The... <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Oh man! Can you tell us later? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Can we put it in the description of the episode? Yeah, we'll put it in the description. We won't say it out loud. (laughs) I feel like Uber's really smart though because they have that uh, where Mm -hmm. they can they can give you stars back. Yes, and that like that resonates with me. Of like, Mm -hmm. I make sure that I'm there on time. Like, I don't I don't want a bad Uber rating. No, yeah, no. (laughs) Make sure to drink your water. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We we gotta drink our water today. We got an order from the bartender. It's good. It's a well-crafted water. Yeah. Because it's a hot the, day today. we got to yeah. stay hydrated. It's a good water to ice ratio. It is. I think yeah. so, too. Yeah. Uh, do you have any rules, Jill? Uh, well, the, besides the be nice to... Oh, um, I right? guess like uh, like your own rule. So like, we always ask our guests to oh. like bring a made-up rule. I think today was our first time that we actually had a rule that we kind of follow. Yeah, usually yeah. we say something pretty ridiculous. Yeah, and we're really like, ridiculous. Bad idea. Don't <laughs> do. <laughs> I guess we're feeling like super in touch with ourselves yeah. today. Yeah. We're like, no, this is what we want out of life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, okay. So, like a serious one, I would say uh, somebody who is uh, excited by change. Mm. Oh. Yeah, because I, I think uh, to live your whole life kind of like stagnant, of like, nope, mm. this is what I am, and I, I can't uh, change it all. Yeah. yeah. I think hard. like in that's terms, good. that's really good. I think in terms of like following, like. Uh, you know getting someone who like checks off all my needs and stuff I've definitely neglected that for the most part of my life Mm -hmm. I've always been like well they're good in bed so everything else falls apart and I'm like (laughs) yeah Yeah. I guess I've grown a bit in the past three years like three years ago if you asked me uh, I would have been like oh my main rule is just have bed sheets Mm, yeah (laughs) yeah exactly is that how long you've been in your relationship uh no probably about a year and a half oh yeah cool so yeah yeah but you know, I, I did date a lot of people who didn't have bed sheets for mm-hmm. a while there. It was a bizarre yeah, thing. That's weird. Musicians, man. Oh god. Yeah. It's so like it's just so easy to get a bed sheet and it's so much nicer. For sure. Yeah. One it. rule that I got after dating a musician was don't date musicians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like musicians. That's I love musicians, but I was just like every single time we'd be talking, I was with him for like a year, and every single time we would be talking, he'd like start playing the guitar and like not oh. pay attention to anything I was saying. Yeah. I was like, this is the worst. <laughs> I briefly dated a drummer, and every time we were in a restaurant, it would just be like just drumming on absolutely everything. That's what I do, <laughs> Which, but I'm not a drummer. I'm just yeah. annoying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that's bad um uh so um we're like whipping through these i feel like yeah. we're going through them really oh okay oh we had a question that we wanted to ask this is our philosophical question of the day Ooh, okay i'll take a sip of coffee first for yeah, yeah take, this, I'll take this coffee set mm-hmm. so you can double spit take it out <sighs> why are people in love so snobby <laughs> If you think they are, I suppose. Oh, I <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, they are. straight up. <laughs> so they are. Why? They are. Why? <laughs> tell, tell us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what kind of like, what kind of snobby do you... Like, it's like, I, this is for sure just coming from yeah, me. Yeah, it's an Anna Maria question. <laughs> <laughs> an Anna Maria question. <laughs> from, born from uh, bitterness, heartbreak, and despair. Uh, straight from the depths of that pit. Uh, why are people so snobby? So they're always talking about their relationship, yeah. being like, I'm so in love. I'm like, shut up. There. <laughs> you know? Maybe maybe it's because they think they figured something out. For, for a brief moment.
moment yeah. in, a, in a relationship before everything goes sideways. <laughs> because I've had a lot of relationships that have gone sideways. But there is this moment where you're like, ah, oh, I get it. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that's where it comes from. Is there a way to access that feeling, package it, and <laughs> sell it to people? <laughs> <laughs> I think self-love books. Yeah. So yeah. it's just self-love in general. Also, legalizing marijuana is going to go a long way. <laughs> Good. There you go. Good. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Smoke yeah. weed uh, if you are not in love. Yeah. Yeah. Get a, get a little more sativa in the. <laughs> so I don't smoke weed. How would I get that love feeling without being in love? <laughs> Mushrooms. Uh, dogs. Dogs. Yes. Dogs. I, I, okay. My my roommate's allergic. Okay. Yeah. A, wow. a turtle. Um, I feel like it's a lot of maintenance. Yeah. Like, is there just something that like I could like inject myself with? <laughs> or, you know. Um, I, I'm not going to go for runs, so yeah. that's out of the question. Um, well, I've heard great things about heroin, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're looking for an injectable. Um, Definitely not recommending that. No, no, for sure. Meditation? Uh, it's, uh, I, I find it very dull, Yes. so yeah. that's out of the question. Is there something I that... I time paying attention in meditation. Mm -hmm. huh? It's like you're supposed to pay it's attention at not paying attention? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's very difficult. Mm -hmm. It is very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, the ones that I've tried, it's like, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Oh, I'm thinking of some, breathe in, breathe out. Oh, yeah. you, breathe in, breathe out. And then it's yeah. just like, Observe okay, your thought this is tiring. And bat your thought away. <laughs> oh, yeah. can you lead us through our meditation right now? <laughs> Actually, can you hypnotize Anna Maria? Oh, yeah, so can you quit smoking? Yeah, I'm trying to quit smoking. But, oh, uh, let's do... Or are you, you smoke hypnotize. as well, right? And you're trying to quit? Uh, are you uh, were? Occasionally. I have the occasional cigarette. Okay, do you no. want me to... I'll try and hypnotize both of you. Are you hypnotize one. both of us? Okay. Yeah, you hypnotize... Uh, both of us and then you lead us through meditation yeah mm. okay. okay so and if you're listening at home too and you find yourself smoking or eating whatever you can apply this to anything okay <laughs> i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure whatever i'm about to say you can apply to anything <laughs> <laughs> okay so i want you to close your eyes okay and picture the thing that you feel addicted to <laughs> <laughs> in the center of a black room whether that be a cigarette a brownie, a bad lover <laughs> in the middle of this black room, okay? And then they're calling to you, the cigarette or whoever, saying, My hey, cigarette's wearing a bikini. Is that's, that important? That's perfect. I, okay. Did I even say that? I meant to say okay. that. All right. They should be wearing a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> they're, draw they're calling you over. They're saying, come over here. We're going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. and, and then you look, you turn around and you see this bright, bright light. And it's brighter than anything else you've ever seen before. And it feels really nice and warm. And you turn back around to the cigarette. It's dark. It's cold. It's kind of like a dark cellar room. You don't, oh, it's creepy. You know, you got to get out of there. So you whip back around to the bright room. And you start walking towards it. You start skipping and jumping and singing, oh, hallelujah, I've made it. And then... Um, you open your eyes and you never want to have a cigarette again. It's amazing. You turned that, that really worked. Yeah. You turned that cigarette into my third grade teacher. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Your, who was your third grade teacher? Oh, she was just um, a very like sad person and oh. her voice was like this. Yeah. So like all of a sudden I could just see her like smoking. Yeah. Like, Come over here. Cool. Yeah. I, I, I ran away. Out into the light. <laughs> I really like this, us exchanging meditation. So can you lead us yeah. through a meditation, then yeah. I'll lead us through a yeah. meditation, okay. hypnotation okay. as well? Uh, okay. This is my first time uh, leading a meditation, okay. and I feel like I should let you know that I've never successfully meditated, but here we, we go. We love you and mm -hmm. support you. Thank you for your love and your support. Okay, so you want to take some time, listeners at home, to find a quiet place. You're going to sit down, and you're going to take a deep breath in sucking it all the way up from your sphincter and you're going to release it slowly between the two lips that are located on your face and you're going to suck that breath in and you're going to think of all the dark things that live in your mind that are throughout your body and you're going to exhale them out through your lips and you're not going to let any of those thoughts come crashing in like what you read in the news this morning. And you're not going to think about how much your rent is here in Toronto. You're just going to exhale that all out. You're going to breathe in and think of a pure flame. And when you think of a pure flame, you're not going to think of any forest fires or anything else that's going on. You're just going to exhale out. 
and you're going to think of a white candle, all waxy like a white moon. Not that white is a superior color. And exhale out. <laughs> See, it's very difficult. Okay, I hope you all feel relaxed. That was really good. That was great. <laughs> that was so I love it. really relaxed. Yeah, okay. I almost awesome. took a nap there no, while sitting. It's yeah. so hard, though. Like, of all the, all the things that you try to think of, there's always something that can come crashing in. That's that was true. good, though. But you address those things. Yeah. yeah. You just, like, bat them away. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. It's my turn. Okay. 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 What's your objective? Ooh. Um... Uh, 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 to drink water every day. Oh, this yeah. is a meditation to <laughs> okay. drink water okay. every day. Okay. Actually, I can't drink it right now. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> you will be able to by the end of this meditation. Okay. okay, close your eyes. This is a hypno meditation. Okay. okay. Close your eyes. Whoosh. Whoosh. It's a train. Eee. Train, 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 coming, crashing. Train, train, train is coming closer and closer and closer to you. Closer and closer and closer to you. (gasps) But it's okay because there's a glass of water beside you. You turn to your left and there's this, there's this jug of, uh, that, you know that water, like, container thing that's, like, at offices? (laughs) There's, like, a big container thing. So you grab, you, like, get off the train tracks and you grab one of those little, little cone, uh, cup thingies and you fill it with water. Uh, uh, woo, woo, woo. This train has passed. Woo, woo, water, 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 uh, yeah, I saw a Culligan man in a bikini. Mm. So there What's you go. a Culligan? Culligan man? Culligan you know, like man. the Culligan man, the like water. It was like a water, water. company. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what you need a picture every day. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate those little cone cups. Though. I hate them too. They taste so bad. Oh yeah, they do have a weird taste, but it's so like distinct. I feel like <sighs> I like the distinctness of oh, it. Oh really? Yeah. I hate it. But when I was yeah. a kid, I used to we used to have those in my in my bathroom when I was a kid, and I would fill up so many of them for the night, and then I would put them on my bedside table, and I guess they would really get the flavor even more into the oh, water. Wow. Oh, you mean like like our square ones, not the cone ones? The little yeah, the little I was round. Like, How did you <laughs> set the cone ones on this, your nightside table? <laughs> you know, it would be great if there was like cups made out of candy, so you filled it with water, and then it tasted like the candy. Yeah, like yeah. water candy. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I think like it's cream soda could do that, or or yeah. something. Yeah. Like the hard candy, like Jolly mm. Rancher hard candy, right? Yeah. And yeah. the outside is like covered by some like. Plastic, mm-hmm. yeah, or not plastic, mm-hmm. uh, something eco-friendly yeah. film, or like an ever like a uh, remember those like gob stoppers or mm-hmm. those like yes. jawbreakers? Mm-hmm. Did you ever have one of those? Yeah, yeah. So those like made out of one of those, and you could just reuse it, yeah, and it'd be like yeah. a new flavor every time. That'd yeah. be good. Yeah, or like it's kind of like those straws that they used to make like flavor. Do you ever try one of those straws that had like milk flavored milk milk flavor in it? No, no, that's so gross. Oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> really gross. <laughs> I had these all the time when I was a kid. It, it was like a straw straw yeah. with like little balls of like strawberry or chocolate Whoa. flavor in them so then you would drink milk through it and it would become like strawberry milk. Oh my god Whoa. I love that. It was actually delicious. Whoa. That's incredible. I really, but really you like could that. not yeah. get away with that in this day and yeah. age. I used to rock out Twizzlers as straws. Oh yeah those are good. But they get yeah. like when they get dissolvy. Yeah. They get kind of waxy. Yeah and they turn white. Yeah. <laughs> That's gross. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, for uh, this next segment it's called would you date them? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, if you would just put on your okay. headphones, I'm in. You're in. Okay. So uh, this is ooh, this is a uh, Julia Roberts in My Best Friend's Wedding. Okay. Have you seen so, it? Yeah, a long time ago. Cool. <laughs> so you're gonna tell us uh, it, at the end of the speech if you would date them and why. Here we go. I have to say this quick, or I'm just going to have this massive coronary, and then you'll never hear it, and you have to. This is by far the dumbest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, So dumb, in fact, uh, that I can't. Oh, but I'm going to. Jillian. I love you. 
I've loved you for nine years. I've just been too arrogant and scared to realize it. And, well, now I'm just scared. So I, I, I realize this comes at a very inopportune time, but I really have this gigantic favor to ask of you. Choose me. Marry me. Let me make you happy. <sighs> that sounds like three favors, doesn't it? What do you think? Wow. Well, uh, if they came with that underscoring, I mean, Whoa. <laughs> like that that swell that happens oh, below, yeah. like way to really support where you're coming from. Uh, but I think it's, you need a good swell, right? <laughs> Someone propositions you <laughs> for sure. Uh, but oh, I'm gonna have to say no. Really. Oh yeah, well, why just not? Because like, if nine whole years have yeah. gone by and nothing has happened between the two of us mm -hmm. then and and the the one moment where you choose to, <laughs> to tell me about this is on like the biggest day of my life I don't know oh. it seems pretty Ooh. yeah that's so sad yeah yeah like nine years like, yeah I, but obviously there must not have been any tension yeah like if for nine years we didn't have any sexual tension why all of a sudden mm-hmm yeah. Just because they see them getting picked up by somebody else. Yeah. yeah. It was like, like uh, I was your, your uh, uh, if I don't get married kind of choice. Do you yeah. ever have those people uh -huh. in your life of like, hey, if we're, not, if we're not married by the time we're like 30, let's get married. Right. And then you Ooh. see that person getting married and you're like, no, 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 wait no, a no minute. You were my fail safe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't want to be anybody's fail safe. I don't want to be their first choice. I remember yeah. watching that movie when I was younger and being like, this is so romantic. Um, they're best friends and they're in love secretly. But what but about then, the like, other person? But what about the other person? Now rewatching it when I was getting that clip, I was like, I would probably say no to yeah, well, like I, if it's uh, been nine years and I haven't made a move it's mm -hmm. probably because there's nothing between us and you're yes. getting married to somebody else hey, yeah that's a long yeah. way well, to I go he ends up marrying the person he was originally supposed to marry right like he doesn't end up with Julia Roberts yeah I end? think so yeah I don't know yeah yeah. Uh, spoiler match. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. No, just kidding. That movie's like a million uh, years yeah. old. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are spoiler alerts allowed? Like how long? I think it used to be like 10 years. Mm. But now I would say like a day. <laughs> yeah. Three, three months. Yeah, three three months, months. Two months. Two months. Yeah. Months. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't watched it by then, then. Then you're stupid yeah. and yeah. you can die. Mm -hmm. I, I never get mad at spoiler <laughs> alerts either. No, I don't really get mad yeah, either. Me neither. I was that uh, I was that kid who would always read like the last page of the book when I was halfway through just to make sure everyone kind of turns out okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get that. Just to put my anxiety to rest. I just I don't really like when people say some, something like, "Oh, this part like you're gonna be so shocked by this part in the movie," you know, like or like yeah. you're gonna be yeah I'm blown away because then I'm like anticipating it. And I'm like, where am I gonna be blown away? Hmm? And then I'm like, <laughs> not blown away. <laughs> you know, page, huh? very not blown away. Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> waiting for it, waiting for my hair to blow back. But I mean, I do. I say the same thing, so that's right. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, what does it say? Beach. Oh, Floyd, it says um. Manificon? It says beach glass manific um. Manif <laughs> manifest beach glass manifest. Beach glass, mm, what is it called when you manufacture? Oh. Manufacture. I was just thinking about that earlier. Just like, so we love beach glass, right? What's beach glass? Beach glass is when you find a piece of glass on the beach that's ah, kind of like okay. soft edges yeah. and everything. We love that. But we never, we never make regular glasses like that unless they're broken you know so what if you had like a crate in the water with glasses in it and you let it become beach glass but it wasn't a broken glass yet Ooh. you know what i mean yeah yeah don't know why i wrote that Thank on you. this piece of yeah. paper like it's not broken glass it's right. just like intact glass yeah. like a bottle of wine and then yeah. you turn it into beach glass yeah yeah would that or work like crate aging your glasses yeah Ooh. you barrel age your wine you crate age yes. your glasses exactly that i think it would water. be cool yeah it'd be soft mm-hmm a softer feel for your glass. Yeah, and the water's there all the time, already doing it. You yeah. might as well put some glass in it. But it's, is might it as the water or is it use. the sand? Yeah. <laughs> is it the gritty sand that does oh, that, though? True. Gonna, like, okay, well, we can put the down. bottles in the sand. Because isn't it how they, like, tumble gemstones? Because, you, you know, you're like, right. oh, your power rocks or your gemstones. Yeah. Did you ever have one of those oh, tumble I, machines? I did not have a tumble I machine. I had a tumble Wait, machine. Wait, what's a, what's a tumble machine? You put your rocks in it to make them soft. Oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Tumble them. Yeah. 
Oh, I like that. Because <laughs> I hate hard rocks. They're like... Yeah. <laughs> but nothing was better than a smooth rock. Oh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <gasps> we figured out how I can find love without love. Soft rocks. Oh, perfect. Oh. There you go. Hard knocks, get yourself some soft rocks. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe you got a tagline tag tag for it. Yeah, for sure. This is just too yeah, perfect. You, you got to write a book. You got to write a book about <laughs> yeah. it. You got to write a book. Yeah, write it'll it be Heather's pick at Indigo for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Heather will be all about that. Who is Heather? I don't know who Heather is, but she picks a lot of books. Oh, yeah. Heather's pick. Heather okay. picks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is Heather like the owner of Indigo? I feel like. Maybe. I feel like I should know this. Yeah. I thought Heather was There's... someone who worked at Indigo. Yeah, but Heather's picks are throughout all They're of the all Indigos, across right? Canada, at least. Yeah. I thought they just had a lot of Heather's working there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's not the case. Welcome to Indigo. You will now be known as Heather. <laughs> we were getting hired. Like, oh, your name's already Heather. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. You get hired twice. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, everybody lies on their resume a little bit. So yeah. that's a little name change. Yeah. Very funny. Um, uh, our final segment is uh, called Rate My kiss mm -hmm. uh, i hesitated because today it's rate my horse kiss rate my horse kiss yeah, yeah i don't so know what this means either <laughs> <laughs> do i have to kiss a no. horse or something <laughs> no no no, no no let me finish okay all right. i'm <laughs> anticipating i'm really excited for this one you're, Did gonna, you kiss a horse? you're gonna be blown okay. away okay so in this one uh I so normally it's rate my kiss and uh, I make kissing faces and noises and then you rate them okay. from a scale of anything that's not one to ten or A through Z because that implies judgment. So you can rate it like from uh, a light bulb to um, floor, uh, um, light bulb to train because we had a train. Okay, <laughs> light bulb to train. You can rate it like that. You can rate it. High school to um, Paris, you know, like okay, yeah. okay. Although yeah. I feel like there is judgment. That high school versus Paris. I feel like there's I like know. one is clearly if, better than the other. What if you went to high school in Paris, oh. or what if you went to Paris in high school? Yeah, <laughs> so, okay. oh, true. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so but today we're doing a fun spin on an already complicated concept. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We're just called rate my horse kiss. <laughs> so this is where I pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's very really, really serious. <clears throat> this okay. is where I pretend that I'm a horse and I'm giving an another, <laughs> another horse a kiss. Okay, horse to horse. <laughs> so horse to horse kiss. Okay. And so I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the kiss, okay. and then you're gonna rate it. Okay? okay. Should I not look you directly in the eye when you do this? <laughs> That's up to you. Yeah, it's really <laughs> how up to much you, you want to be affected. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> The end. <laughs> okay. Uh, how would you rate that? Uh, and why? Uh, how would I rate it? And why? And why? Um, okay, I would say uh, I would rate you as a uh, dinghy. Uh, well, so sorry. Can you? Uh, what's um, the scale that you're using? The scale that I'm using. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, from canoe. Yeah. To yacht. And I got dinghy. You got Fuck dinghy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go on. Go yeah. on. Uh, dinghy with one of those like little outboard motors All right. on the back. Oh, cool. Uh, because it was a it was a generous amount of water. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> maybe you might want to bail out at some point, but maybe not. I love uh, it. Also, there was some a certain risque. amount of like safety towards it too. It seemed yeah. like very much like you were checking in for consent, which is always so important. Yeah. You know, in a dinghy, that's like a, a life vessel. You know, if something happens to the boat, you got to get into the dinghy. The dinghy is like the the sure thing. <laughs> uh, the sounds were were nice. They reminded me of a little outboard motor. Yeah. You know, so uh, there was some power behind it not quite like a canoe but not as much power as a yacht which could be overpowering uh and i didn't feel like i needed a life vest so yeah cool yeah, awesome no. so now we know the important things to a good horse kiss power consent life vests <laughs> yeah. or lack thereof yeah yeah yeah, I guess uh, I guess maybe I should have said yes. Wear a life vest, you know. Uh, that's a safety <laughs> thing. <laughs> Protect yourself. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but but good job. Yeah, Solid commitment. Great. Thank yeah. you, thank you. I didn't yeah. think I was gonna like it so much, but it was really good. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Jordan normally hates this segment. Yeah, I usually hate it. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, it was like I, you know, at some point it seemed like you were purring, and I thought, uh-huh. oh yeah, a thanks. horse, yeah. a horse. I could, could purr. really see the other horse. You know, <laughs> you're really making yeah. a lot of eye contact with what I imagine was yeah. the other horse. And I feel I, like we found your in to this segment. That's yeah. true. <laughs> and I feel like you were being a very considerate of your teeth. You know, mm-hmm. because horse they have a lot of teeth you know yeah. be, that could be uh daunting to yeah. kiss a horse oh yeah that's, she was keeping them know. back yeah for sure mm-hmm. yeah that's important <laughs> in, a, in a good kiss no teeth yeah yep. all right thank you so much this yeah. has been so much fun thank you Thanks, Jillian, man. for so having me joining us today yeah. uh we're gonna do uh as our sign off we do the best high five ever yeah oh, so are you ready no it's gonna okay. be the best so. it's gonna be the best okay. so don't even worry about yeah. it don't even stress no pressure mm-hmm. no pressure at all i feel zero High five. Oh, thanks for like really okay. naming it because that helps. Yeah, I will. You yeah, got to know yeah, what yeah, that was. Gotta, sometimes you just got to say it, you know, yeah. the truth. You just got to say it. <laughs> High five. Put it out there. Cool. Yeah. Okay, thanks. The end. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Wait, no, it's okay. Yeah, bye. <laughs>